Radio Shouty. Favorites is that on top of the world, man. Oh, really? I mean, explain the growth that y'all had when y'all dropped that album. Because on top of the world, that was a different kind of plateau when that thing came out. It yeah. was like, okay, I feel I feel coming out hard on the outside yeah. looking in. I'm rocking with it. But on top of the world, just kind of took it. Took yeah. the, the space age pimping to another level. Oh, yeah. We were just, man, we were just growing, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, two young cats who done, uh, came from uh, these circular streets mm -hmm. for 18 years. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then grow and get to see um, parts of the world you ain't never seen before. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we was, uh, the money started flowing around that time. You That's know right. what I'm saying? So... It was just, you know, it was still a conscious album, but at the same time, we was, you know, we was growing, man. Mm -hmm. We was we was developing our sound. We was developing um, the eight ball and MJG. You know, that right. space age pimping came mm -hmm. from that album. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And that was one of our uh, probably biggest songs to date. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Now that living legends. I mean, you had some veterans come back into the game yeah. and bring the pain on that album. That was a good one. I mean, yeah. how was it hooking up with Diddy and dropping that? Uh man, it was a uh, good work, man. You know, we went uh man, we worked a lot on that album in I want to say Memphis, Atlanta. Uh we was moving around a whole lot at that time. Florida, New York. Uh but it came out that was probably one of the best A Ball and MJG albums in a yeah. while. And uh that single Don't Want Drama did real big that year. You know what I'm saying? It was just man uh, good timing at that moment, you know what I mean? Like real good timing for us, you know, at that moment, yeah. Radio Shouty! Shouty!